Hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install a, a spur point. Now inside this understairs cupboard is a single power point. Um, now I've taken out the fuse. Here's the fuse here. I've removed that so I'm now sure that there's no power going in there. I've also obviously previously checked the, the switch and that was off as well. Um, so, so I've taken off this uh, single spur point. I now want to put a double spur point in. I'm going to put it in this panel here. Um, now uh, I've already done this in true P Blue Peter fashion. I've already cut the, the square out. Uh, you can use, I'm using a dry lining box here uh, as a template. Um, so um, just draw around the dry lining box where you want it to go. Uh, and, and I've removed the, uh, that, that panel. Um, now you need to get an, a competent electrician in to do this job. Um, but, but I'm just showing you how, how you can do this here. Um, so now we've, we've uh, cut the hole and uh, we've got the cable here. We have the dry lining box. Um, so I'm going to install a, a double power point. Um, this is a 1920s come 30s, 1920s uh, house. So uh, most of the power points uh, are, are installed in the skirting boards. Um, so if we uh, um, so, so the, the regulations on how, I, how high you have a power point um, aren't so stringent um, but it's always best to ensure that you, you have it above floor level. Um, I, I prefer to have them um, above the skirting board level if I can and, and this one is in, in that is the case. Um, so I've got the dry lining back box in and I've got my power here which is all switched off. Um, so I just want to uh, wire in this uh, power point. So uh, there's the earth there. I'll just screw that one in like so. It's a nice shiny chrome double power point here. So it's very important that we earth that because this is metal. Um, and then obviously uh, we want the uh, neutral cable in the neutral hole. Neutral is the black one and red's the live. So if I just put those in there, like so, and then tighten those up. I'm using an electrician screwdriver, um, but there's no live coming through, so no worries there. But even so, um, it's still good to treat the wires as though they were live, um, which I do try to do. Um, I'm not going to tighten those in. Completely. I'm just going to show you what happens. So, so that would go in like so, the wire, um, and then the power point would go on the front like so, and just take the plastic off, screw it through this on, and it looks quite neat with the uh, panel. So um, I hope that's been of some assistance. Obviously, once you've uh, screwed it all back together, um, ensure the the back of the uh, power point is quite safe. Uh, nothing's going to knock it or. Um, it usually is for dry lined walls, although there should be a panel covering it at the back, ideally. Um, and then obviously put your power point back in, uh, your, your, your fuse back in and, and, and test it all. Uh, so I hope that's been of some use and thank you for watching.